Like I talk it, uh, no way will I ever come up off it. Nah, nah, I must say, I never felt so awesome. But, but all praise goes to the most high regard. I No cat kings and priests coming out here on the highways and byways, putting in this work for the Lord our God to prepare our people to come back to this truth, the so-called black, Spanish, Indian, and Americans. We out for our people, man. And we know what our people go through every day, breaking the seven, do it all as of wickedness, drugs, all kinds of things that's going on right in front of us right now. So we're trying to wake up our people to hear the truth. No matter if they don't hear it, they're going to hear it. So we're going to bring out this simple precept right here. Bring it out, brother. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. All what? Unto all Israel. Bring it out. On this side, Jordan, in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Tophel and Labian and Hezeroth and Dizah. Oh, praise to the Most High, man. So the Lord shows us through the precept that he's bringing our people out of Israel. So showing that the curse that we're going through, no different than what we're going through right now. So-called Babylon, where we're in right now, so-called America. It shows you the curses that applies to our people for breaking the law, statute, commandments. That's why we got to obey the law, because we ain't cursed right now. We in sin. Sin is a wicked thing to do, man. You should never be happy about your sins when it comes to our people. Why are we in the bottom? Why are we in the ghetto? Why are we going through the curses? Because our people don't want to come back to this truth. Our people still want to be niggas and spicks out here. And that's not who we are according to the Bible. When We are kings. That's right. We're not the white man's slave no more, man. We are that bandaged lifestyle, brother. We coming back to prepare our people to come back to the truth because the Lord walked us up. We're not no niggas and spicks up in here. We kings. That's right. And we're about to put in the work and keep pushing this truth. Does say the Lord, man. Let's bring it out, brother. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 1. And Moses called all Israel. All what? All Israel. Continue. And said unto them, Hear, O Israel. Hear, O what? Hear, O Israel. No, hear the white man. Hear, hear O Israel. Israel. Oh, I love America. Hear, hear O Israel. Israel. Continue. The statutes and judgments which I speak unto your ears this day, that ye may learn them and keep to do them. For the Lord, our God, made a covenant with us. Make a covenant with who? With us. With the white man? With us. No, our people. With us. In Horeb. Verse 3. The Lord made not this covenant with our... Shalakia. The Lord made not this covenant with our fathers, but with us. Even us, who are all of us here, alive this day. So we alive this day because Christ... Is live in a well. He defeated death. That's why you here on the highways and byways be able to put it in his truth with brothers like us because we live him because of Christ is living. He's live in a well. So we should be giving all honor and glory to the Father and Son because it would have been for the Lord we wouldn't be here right now through That's his grace right. and mercy. That's right. That's right. Because he blessed us That's by waking us up because we were blind from the truth. We were people out in the streets just like y'all. But it's no excuse not to come back to this truth, man. Bring it out. Because if the Lord is going to wake us up, he's going to wake us up no matter what. No matter what man say. We're not here to spare nobody's feeling. We're here to bring out the truth. Does say the Lord. Bring it out, brother. This is the book of Matthew, a precept. Chapter 5 and verse 16. Read. Let your light so shine before men. Let your light shine before what? Let your light so shine before men. Read. That they may see your good works. See your bad works. See your good works. Selling drugs. See your good works. Continue. And glorify your Father which is in heaven. Verse 17. 
think not I am come to destroy the law for the prophets I am not come to destroy but to fulfill the Lord came to fulfill he didn't came to destroy the law who destroys try to destroy the law so called white man God. breaking all law statute commandments that's right and he wants us to entertain him by being rappers by doing all this demonic wicked spirit stuff that we doing to this day man holding a grudge towards our brothers and sisters whoring out our women that shows you how wicked we are as people man and you wonder why we come out here on the highways and byways because now we see what we see man thank the lord for that he showed us the sign man show us how wicked we was how we was the old man being just like how we see all people right now selling drugs to each other hanging out with these other nations Clean on to the oppressor. Son, drugs to each other and hating their brothers and sisters, That's man. Right. But we here to love our brothers and sisters. That's why we're coming back to this truth, to bring you back to the truth. That's why we out here for our people, so-called black, Spanish, Indian, and Americans. Bring it out, brother. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5 and verse 4. The Lord talked with you face to face in the mount of the mist of the fire. Verse 5, I stood between the Lord and you at that time to shew you the word of the Lord. For ye were afraid by reason of the fire and went not up into the mount, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Which out of the land of what? Of the land of Egypt. Read. From the house of bondage. From the house of bandits. Same reason why we're going through to this day. You want to get out of this so-called America? Come back to the law, statute, commandments. That's right. Come back to the Lord, your God. Stop acting like coons in America, man. Mm. Stop being wicked as hell, man. Mm. You know deep inside your gut, you know you're doing things wrong. You wonder why you're catching hell. You wonder why you're in the streets. You wonder why you're on drugs. You wonder why you're going through the curses because you disobeyed the Lord, your God. Your first marriage. Bring it out, brother. Precept of the book of Moses, chapter 8, in verse 7. Where is like you? In verse 8. No, no, we'll start at 7. The Lord has sworn by the excellency of Jacob. Surely I will never forget any of their works. Verse 8. Shall not the land tremble for this? And everyone mourn that dwelleth therein? And it shall rise up holy as a flood. And it shall be cast out and drowned as by the flood of Egypt. Verse 9, And it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth and in a clear day. And I will turn your feast into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins and baldness upon every head. And I will make at it as the morning of an holy sun, and the end thereof as a bitter day. Well, praise the most high for that, man. Uh -huh. So that shows you through the precept that he does all things for a reason. The same reason that he's bringing the plagues upon this land. That's right. That's why he's bringing the sun, the way the sun's getting hotter. Fires are happening, just like Hawaii and many other places. The plagues that's going on in China. All these storms and earthquakes. What a coincidence that you don't understand to see the signs that we already hear. We're living these prophecies right now. Prophecy is slowly being fulfilled, man. The Lord is not playing around when it comes to our people, man. We got to start harking into the words. Time is near. That's why we're waking up our people. We're not out here just wearing fringes, just thinking it's a fashion show. That's right. We're here to show our people to wake up. We're showing you the signs that we're showing you to come back to this truth because we know time is near. And it's going to be worse for our people that don't get it together. Bring it out, brother. Now the precept, the book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 4. Three. Thus said the Lord unto the house of Israel, Seek me. Seek what? Seek me. Seek the white man. Seek ye me. Seek the America. Seek ye me. And ye shall live. You shall what? And ye shall live. See. Precept, the book of Amos, chapter 8 and verse 11. Behold the day is come, said the Lord. That I will send famine in the land. What the Lord's going to send? Send famine in the land. What he's going to bring to America? Send famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words. Hearing the what? Hearing the words. Read. Of the Amasiah. Ah, hearing the words. 
That's living uh, bread and life, water. Come into this truth. This is the living bread. What we bring to you right now, you ain't got to pay for it. It's for free. Just like the Lord gave you a body to live in, that's for free. Why are you defiling your temple with smoke? Why are you defiling your temple with all manner of drugs and not appreciating what the Lord put in your body, man? Why are you defile your body knowing that the Lord knows that he loves you and your body's bought is a price? So if your body's bought is a price, why are you doing these things to your body? All praise to the Most High. Bring it out. How you doing, brother? The world is judging you. We're not judging you. We're building you up, brother. We're building you up. Take a flyer, brother. Take a flyer, brother. Bring it out the truth, brother. At the end of the day, you don't have to come at me. You coming at the Lord because at the end of the day, you can't scuff at the Bible. The Bible speaks the truth, brother. And we're here for you, brother. Just listen. We got you, brother. Then you understand, right? Then you understand, right? Moderation. Okay. The moderation. I would say only thing can judge is God. No. No, it's not So at the end of the day, we're going to prove all things to you, okay? Because remember, like we always say before, before we bring out this precept, at the end of the day, you are a brother, man. You are a brother. You are a preacher? Okay, so we, we're going to preach you the real truth in the Bible. We're not preaching to men. Because remember, God be true, every man is a liar. Bring it out, brother. Take your time. So if you know who you are, you, who you are according to the Bible? I you know where I am. You say you're Haitian? Yeah, you know where I am. I don't know what I'm telling you. So you, you say you're Haitian. So in the fly, it, show, it shows you exactly what tribe you really are according to the Bible. So we're going to bring our priest and show you exactly you what's going on. All oh, praise to the most high. Okay. That's not like you don't do. Just so stick around, brother. We're here for you, man. I was hungry. We got no but love for you, brother. Look, I was Let's bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5 and verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Hold on. Let the, let the word, yeah. From the house of bondage, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters beneath. Verse, this, and this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 in verse 1. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgment with the Lord God command to teach you. It's lucky. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you. So at the end of the day, we here to teach you, brother. Hey, brother, we here to teach you according to the Bible. So remember, law, statute, commandments. Do you know the law, statute, commandments? Do you know the law, statute, commandments, brother? You want to know the law, statute, commandments? Okay, so we're here for you. We're here for our people, man. So-called black, Spanish, Indian, and Americans. We're here for our people, man. We're here for the Haitians. We're here for the Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Jamaicans, Mexicans, Africans, American, whatever you want to call yourself. You're our people, according to the Bible, man. I don't call myself nothing. I'm just calling myself nothing. You call yourself nothing before you call yourself Haitian. <laughs> okay. But you know God created you for a purpose, right? That's different. So if God created you for a purpose, right? If you love God, right? So you love God, right? But you love God, right? Okay, so if you love God, we're going to bring this priest outside. So let God be true. Bring it out. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 22 and verse 37. And Jesus said unto them, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is is the first and great commandment and the second is unlike unto it thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself and on these two commandments hang all the law of the prophets so that shows you right there straight to the cut when you show you right there you have to love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul so you have to love your brothers too is as your neighbors as yourself these are commandments bring it up Brother, we're, we're up here teaching, so it's like it's like we like to do things. We like to do things in order. So we so we're bringing out the precept. This is our platform. So we brought this. You know what I'm saying? So we're out here to edify. 
So we're gonna, if we go, then you go, brother. You ready? So we're gonna bring it out no matter what. So we, no, no, you good. So we're gonna bring it out. We're here to help you to grow, brother. We're here to show you the truth, does say the Lord. We're not here to put you down. We're not here to look at you different. We know exactly why we out here. We're doing the work, brother. We respect, we love you, brother. That's what we're here for. You don't gotta go over there. Yeah. The word's gonna go out, brother. We got you, brother. Yeah. No, I was It doesn't matter that I'm become different than them. I still belong to God because I was no one was my back. Okay. That's why the brother is supposed to stick together. We got a friend of brother to do the life and do the life. But not. So, so think about the truth What we're doing right now yeah, that's Stay together as brothers The real truth brother Watch yourself, be safe So we're going to keep bringing this truth out We're going to let this truth come out No matter what, and it flow like water Cut like a two-edged sword At the end of the day, no matter what we bring out People are going to get judged by their words Because at the end of the day God judges according to the Bible The man brings out the precept we bring out the truth because God is true and every man is a liar. So we're going to bring it out. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 20 and verse 12. Moreover, also I gave them my Sabbaths to be a sign between me and them. And they might know that I am the Lord that sanctified them. But the, but the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They walk not in my statutes, and they despise my judgments, which if a man do, he shall even live in them. So that means that, it's like a, that means that right there what the Lord says, if you want to live and have everlasting life, you have to choose against good or evil. So you got to go to the left side, defile your body with smoke, drink, and not change your ways and repent. Because if you repent, you can change if the Lord put it in your spirit. But that's why we're here to prepare our people to tell us if you feel rejected or you feel like you're getting judged, the Lord is judging you according to your work, what you're doing right now. Because you can't hide from the truth knowing that when we are here, we're here to correct our brothers, to show our brothers to come back to this truth. Bring it out.